Welcome back to the Retro Tech Repair Shop. Today we continue the series in trying to build a retro hi-fi system from broken parts. I have a Techniques turntable. So let's take it over to bench number one and see if we can fix it. Um, here we have the we have the turntable. It's got a little it's got a 33 rpm 45 rpm switch on the front of it. It's got a, a queuing switch. Well, I'm, I'm assuming is like something to do with the needle moving around. Um, we've got a random belt hanging out. We've got um, the middle bit middle cap missing one of the tabs. Um, the little rubber mat has a little notch cut out in it for some reason. Something's going on there. That doesn't sound very good. There's a random spring here. Okay. Interesting. So, definitely something going on in here. Very interesting. What's the button on the right for? The button, this button. Yeah. I'm assuming that just um, starts and stops it. Has it got a needle fitted to it? Uh, yeah, it's got a needle on it. I don't know how good it, good condition the needle is though, but it looks like it will play. So what's the first thing you're gonna do? Do you believe that? I mean, this this was an item for eBay. Um, pick up locally. Yeah. Untested. Yeah. Spares. Oh yeah, working. and also there's no plug on the end of it for some reason. So it seems like it's a good chance that it is completely untested. It is, yeah, probably. Because there's no plug on it. There's no plug on the end so of it. So the person probably they said they found it in the loft. So the first thing you want to do is just do some, before you put a plug on it, is just do some electrical tests. How can we electrically test it if there's no electrical, there's, if there's no electricity going through it? How's that one? No. Oh yeah, yeah, like do the dead tests yeah and see because there must be if it's mains supply going in then there must be a transformer inside so you should be able to pick something up on the uh, cables right these I think just lift up uh, yeah that, that does kind of look like yeah it just there we go oh, nice and there's the belt there's a random belt there so now we don't know what condition Take the belt off, put it on one side. Um, the belt looks okay, I guess. I mean, Might well be. it's, a, it's a slightly springy, which I'm assuming means it's still decent. I don't think we have a belt that that's... The, do we have a belt that, that, that is that long? No. Okay, so let's hope that that belt is still good. <laughs> so what have we got there? That's a, that's a little coil. Yeah, so that's that, that will fire in and out to do something. Yeah. At this stage, don't know what. Mechanically, it all seems to be intact. If not a bit dirty. Yes, a little bit dirty, isn't it? There's the drive motor. So, before we get in, what's that? That's what? That's a. Uh, don't know what that is yet. That, that is some kind of. Um, okay. Well, it's, I think it's attached to the switch somehow. Got something to do with the switch. Because it moved on the Oh, there it is. It's a mechanical oh, switch is. that moves that. Okay, cool. So, wow. that's doing something. That is doing something. Look, that's moving the arm. Yeah. Okay, so we're finding out quite a bit about this already. Um, I would suggest that before we do the electrical tests and put a plug on here, we turn it over, yeah. take the bottom off of it and have a look underneath. Mm, yeah. See what the general condition of it is, yes? Yeah. Okay, just put that on for a moment, turn it over. Let's see if we can get this uh, under this top case. I'm not sure how this comes apart. So let's start with five screws on the bottom here. The question is, right, are we actually qualified service personnel? 
Uh, I'm not qualified at anything, no. Oh, I thought you were qualified. Um, I'm nice. not qualified to do any, anything with this, but I believe you're an electrical engineer, aren't you? So you are qualified in something. You can't get you can't get any cheaper than fixing things up, can you? No, well if we can get this, I mean this costs ten pounds off of yeah, eBay. Pretty good. So if it can work, um, what was this then it worth like working? Good. Like fifty quid or something? It's worth working. Possibly, yes. Yeah. I mean, I mean, they're probably worth like turntables are really expensive, aren't they? Yeah. Like buying a new one. Yeah, I've got one. It was like, I don't, how much was it? I don't know. I know yours was a low end one, but the one I've got on my system at home, and that was a cheap one, and it was about 250 pounds. Right. Right. Um, I'm assuming I just need to undo this screw here. I would undo that one as well. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. It just pops off that. Just carefully. I always we don't know what's under it. It's the springs that fly There's off nothing, it. Oh, look at know, that. The, Oh, nice. That, that looks. A, that was easy, wasn't it? That interesting. Looks, that looks pretty clean, doesn't it? A little sticker in there. What's that saying? AC cord routing. What AC cord? Oh, power yes, supply. it looks like a little snake. Okay, so there's your power supply coming in. And there's your power supply card. So I'm gonna have a nose under the power supply card yeah. first. See what's under there. Screws are everywhere. Should I get a screw pot or something? Yep. Well, it's that simple. Yeah. Right. Let's bring the test meter over. And we'll just check the wiring. Okay, right. So if we do, we're going to remake this cable off anyway because it's a bit not so right. good. So live to there. No. Do you want to wiggle that cable around here where the, the this bend cable. is? Yeah. Just see if we lose connection. Just give it a bend, a push, squeeze. Okay, so I'll hold it on there tight. Right, and then look at the meter and we'll bend the cable around just to see if we lose any connection. Okay, I'm not getting any breaks from the cable. Right, so if you go on neutral do the same again okay if we do live to neutral let's get an auto setting 2.756k so we're reading something on the winding Yep, so we've got our primary winding is intact. That's cool. So that is the primary winding is here. Secondary winding is there. 9.6. Right. So primary winding is intact. Secondary winding appears to be intact. Power just goes straight off onto this board under here. We'll open that up and have a look in a minute. Clean under here, isn't it? Actually, yeah. It's probably it's bit probably of a, because it's just been sitting there, isn't it? Yeah. But we'll have a look through the whole circuit because yeah. we've got the drive motor here. I'm interested to see what's under there. Yeah. It's got two potentiometers down here. Ooh. Some adjustments here. It must be for the speed. Two speeds. The the 45, 45. and 33. Yeah. Whatever. So what we could do is we could measure the speed um, and have a play about with those if it if it works. That is, let's have a quick nose under this board while we're here, just to see what what we're up against. It's a bit of is there anything mechanically holding that in? No, it's good. The motor out. Pop the motor out. There we go. That's cool. It's interesting. Right. 
I've got as much flex on the cables as I want. bit more space, have a look. I know we haven't tried it yet, I'm just nosy. <laughs> Move the transformer out the way and the motor. Motor connections. It's a little, is that like a little resistor or something on there? That's a little diode, so it's diode. a little, uh, I'd imagine it's a flywheel diode, so when you switch it off it generates back into the system, dissipates the energy. Yeah. Look at these connections, make sure they're okay. It's very delicate this bit. Yeah. Uh, so we got some diodes there. So it looks like the supply from the transformer comes in. And those four diodes are the bridge rectifier to turn it into DC. Smoothing capacitor, I would suggest. Got some more diodes here, a few transistors. That is some kind of sensor. It's a little switch in there. And then we've got a drive, got two potentiometers there, which I'd imagine are the drive. So what we'll do is while we're here, we'll, because you can get dust and muck in here, we'll clean these. Um, and we'll look at the soldering on the back of this board. But we'll clean those up while we're, while we're in this position. Okay, I'm going to turn the board over, put it back, and see if these connections are okay. There's little limit switches here. Clean those up as well in a minute. Find out what that is. But for now, let's put the board back in. So the motor feels Okay, give that a little uh, spray as well. Just on that. You got a cotton wool bud? Cotton wool, just the, you mean the little, yeah, these guys. Different guys. Yeah. Everyone needs some of those. It's on there. If it's supposed to screw in. I don't really think I don't think it's meant to screw in. No, it's not. It's because if it's screwed in it would like well, I'm writing all that and I'm assuming that the motor is kind of on those rubber bits to stop it from like the stop vibration the of it from I think it stops the noise transferring to the pickup as well. Yeah. Don't want to hear that motor noise. Soldering looks okay there on this yeah. board as well. Let's have a closer look. No, I can't see anything really bad out there with the soldering on any of those. Hmm, I don't know what that board is. So we've got a little more sensor here. And a little set of limits there. I they look alright as well, I'll give them a little, just give them a little, contacts a little brush with this cleaner. Put the board back in again, do you want to do that? Mm -hmm. Might as well. Okay. There we go, so that's that in. Okay, we've got a set of contacts here on a switch. seem to be hanging out then, look. What? This one here wasn't, wasn't back in position. Ooh, interesting. So that's not going to help. Take that board off there. Let's find out what's underneath that one. It's a voyage of discovery this is. Yeah, I was watching a new uh, episode of Star Trek Discovery today, 
Um, it's very interesting, let's say that. It's got um, stuff going on. I think they were still making that. No, uh, the, the, I don't know, they do like a, a series and then they don't do it for, an, for a year and then they do a series and then they don't do it for a year. Hmm. It's kind of weird. Okay. Okay, well the soldering looks good, the board is pretty clean. Do you want to go that back? <coughs> I'm doing this in reverse order, not function check it first to find out what's going on. Set of contacts there, but they're inside a shield to mm. protect it from getting dirty, yeah? Mm. That obviously presses on this. As it moves forward it allows these contacts to open. Yeah. And we've looked at those contacts already. So everything seems to be oh, in place mechanically as you say these these work. Okay, let's put the casing back on and give it its first try. <laughs> 